Now second year is starting and I am here to give you a road map of how to deal with second year especially microbiology because 80% of the students the second year is their worst year of the entire MBBS so the only and only mantra is stay in the game Hi everyone this is Dr Anusha your microbiology faculty at PW Medi Now second year is starting and I am here to give you a road map of how to deal with second year especially microbiology how to take it up from the very start from the very beginning so my only and one and final advice what is going to be for you in this video is a single line stay in the game my only advice is stay in the game and what is the game the game of studies I understand that when you're a first year MBBS student you have just come out of school and in school time we make many sacrifices because the neat UG is not a cake walk so we make a lot of sacrifices we don't go out with friends and so many things basically we put our lives on hold to crack that MBBS seat finally you get that MBBS seat and suddenly you're bombarded with very fact heavy theory heavy sub first year subjects which are very very important subjects and every faculty is telling you all the time don't miss your concepts make your basis strong so you end up studying lot in first year as well and that is a time when a big transition has happened when you have moved from school to college ab college mein aane ke baad college life ko samajhte samajhte aur apne syllabus ke piche bhagte bhagte first year pura nikal jata hai finally you come to second year and second year being a comparatively longer year you get a breather is time pe aap shuru karte ho fest mein jana extra curricular activities friends banana life mein aage badhna basically बच्चों से एक अडल्टुड में भी ट्रांजिशन होता है लाइफ होने लगती है थोड़ा सा ब्रीदर मिलता है फाइनली आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अस टेंड टू रिलैक्स नाउ यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इज डोंट रिलैक्स एक्चुअली नॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू प्लीज डू रिलैक्स take this time because no matter how much i want to pump you up right now by saying that oh you cannot be a loser this and that of course life will happen to you and of course you will want to catch a break with your friends please catch that break but how do you prevent yourself from falling behind while catching that break because 80% of the students the second year is their worst year of the entire mbbs because that is the time when they get relaxed and they fall behind so the only and only mantra is stay in the game So first you have to identify yourself. What is your interests? A lot of you have moved out of the city of your hometowns. You are in new cities. Many of you are in completely new countries altogether. Adulthood is happening finally to you. You getting stepping into life. So there is a lot more that you're doing. You suddenly have a friend circle and there is a lot happening. and even though we tell you that you should stay in touch with your studies every day give one hour to your subjects every day it most of the times it is very difficult to even find that one hour to sit with the books it's not about the shortage of time it's about the shortage of will and not so much about shortage of will also but there is just so many other distractions which are happening to you if you are in college 8 to 5 after that you are you are attending some uh, drama society or some activities of some society then you are tired then you have dinner then you also have to talk to your friends for about an hour and by the time you are so tired that all you want to do is just sleep off right or of course there is netflix to catch on to and so many other things so even finding that one hour becomes really difficult in second year because you start giving life the priority and you're not wrong in doing so of course you have to give life that priority but when i say stay in the game i mean that first you have to identify are you really focused and are you really uh, inspired to study because there are all kinds of people there are students who really like going to the library finishing up the syllabus and they are really really focused on some academic target that they have to achieve while there are other set of students who also have other talents who have other skills they have other interests and they really want to focus on that also because this is the only time that they can make a mark or identity in those fields and naturally if they are focusing on those things studies take a little bit of a back seat now what we end up doing all the time is that one student who was going to the library and regularly studying this go really well while the rest of us merely you know are just barely managed to pass by reading at the last minute taking notes from seniors uh, you know taking shortcuts etc 
but that is not going to really help us because probably the pg entrance uh, if the next comes in then it's an integrated approach even in neat pg now there is a lot of integrated questions which are being asked overlapping subjects and uh, most of the times it's very difficult to tell whether the question is from a paraclinical or a clinical subject right there is so much of overlap which is happening so when i say stay in the game i mean that whatever amount of time you're spending in college because we all have to attend college because attendance is a must so we do end up going to classes for attendance the mistake that we make is that we don't pay attention in the classes so my only advice to you is if you're going to the lecture if you're going to the practical class might as well pay attention do not ignore or underestimate the power of passive learning how many of your friends names have you memorized sat down and memorized no you just kept meeting them every day got introduced to their face every day spoke to them every day automatically you learn a great deal of information about your friends you learn about their names their last names their parents names how many siblings they have where they belong to what are their interests what shirt they wore yesterday so many things which cafe you guys went to why is those things very easy to under uh, remember while the studies and subjects are very difficult to uh, remember the only and only difference is immersive experience when you are dealing with life when you are engaging with your hobbies when you are interacting with your friends all of your senses are engaged and you are totally in the moment at that time whereas when it comes to studies you are going up specially picking up a book and reading so not a lot of your senses are not engaged and that is what makes it boring and a task for your brain to remember and if you need to find out time to study every day it becomes very very important i might stand in front of this camera and tell you 1000 times to be consistent to read every day i know hardly 1% of you are going to do that so a very real life advice would be stay in the game if you are going to the lecture listen if you are going to the practical hall do the things watch what your teachers are telling you sit passively watch one of our video lectures you may also refer to some uh, free resources available online or maybe enroll in a live class session where just passively you have to sit and just listen to this person come and speak to you now if you are just passively sitting and imbibing all of this information repeatedly it will become a not a task for you to memorize things and to remember things for exams for example there is a culture medium called as lg medium lg medium looks like something it is used to grow mycobacterium tb it has certain constituents if you try to learn it the day before the exam it is a task it is a fact heavy five six set of information points that you have to memorize and keep in your brain before you can vomit into the exam the next day and you have to repeat the same cycle after four years when you're preparing for entrance exam that is such a waste of time instead when you were just sitting and sleeping in that lecture just passively hear to the lecturer talking about the lg medium and that is your first point of exposure or contact after that 90% chance you are going to forget about it the same day in the evening when you go to the practical hall you are going to pick up and see that lg medium with your own hands now more and more of your senses are involved and it gets repeated in your brain so you all must be aware of the repeated learning and revision 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 don't you think this is also a type of revision happening without you having to put any effort from your side right then you look at this and now it is 80% integrated into your mind you might again forget it but after a few days let's say you're attending a live lecture and then i come and i talk to you about the same lg medium and it's the third time it gets revised in your head so finally as you're walking talking even in your life you are aware what an lg medium is so you are in the game you have not lost touch you have not lost contact with your subject with the information with the facts you are not actively sitting and learning each and every fact you are just in that ecosystem where those things are being said to you passively from all the directions so that passively also you are imbibing a lot of knowledge that is my only and the most important piece of advice to you for second year mbbs especially for microbiology because it is fact heavy Now if you're a student who loves to go to the library and who loves to read and who wants to make the most of this second year my advice is buy a good standard book
a lot of the students are reading Apoorva Shastri. It has been updated up for the CBME curriculum. A lot many colleges prefer Anant Narayan. A lot many colleges also prefer Lippin Court International Authors. My advice is read the books. Okay, read the books because MBBS is the only time where you have the leisure and the timeline. to read the books after that you will have no time you will have 19 subjects to cover it's going to be mcq based you would want shortcuts and notes the problem is right from second year if you start taking up notes and shortcuts you end up building no concepts and finally for entrance exams you will not have the time to build concepts and that is going to be your rank decider because so much clinically integrated questions are being asked in the entrance exams that if you have read the book it really really helps so my advice is read the book no matter if you are watching our lectures and referring to our notes start integrating the books with your notes as well so that you have a wholesome knowledge bank with you all the time and if you are someone who loves to go to the library and spend time reading there i would highly advise enrolling in live batches because in live batches we teach you first hand you can ask questions directly from us and there is it is very very interactive and uh, there is a lot of to and fro which happens and again like i said all the senses are involved your sight your sound and your writing also so it becomes very a wholesome experience and then the knowledge ends up becoming your own knowledge base but if you are not that person who likes to go to the library every day and you have other things to also take care of then like i said just stay in the game don't get delinked with your subjects if at all you are able to find that one hour every day then please do find that one hour and read whatever is it that you have seen today walking around in the college any case that you saw any practical that you went to any lecture that you attended simply find and locate it in your textbook locate the chapter in your textbook where it is so now you are friendly and familiar with the topic that okay this is lg medium is what i saw in the, the practical hall today and anusha ma'am was also talking about it let me find it where it is in my book open the page of lg medium just quickly read the paragraph and then you know where that topic is what we are talking about so finally when you are preparing for the exam it is not something new and a sea of information that you have to memorize you are very very familiar with different aspects of your textbook already over the year okay so my only only advice is stay in the game and involve all your senses repeatedly get exposed to all of the facts so that revision happens passively and the final advice is that the only key for microbiology is revision i try to make things very very easy and conceptual for you i like to teach in clinical scenario based uh, based style of teaching i love to give you a lot of picture mnemonics and stories so anyways facts become very very easy another thing that i want to tell you right now uh, if you have watched the three idiots movie are you familiar with this scene where uh, amir khan writes the word farhan rajulization now when you break down the word it has farhan raju and the names of his friends so it is easy to remember that word similarly is how i take up microbiology every difficult word or name that you find it difficult to remember has a meaning has a reason behind it so i try to show you that reason that meaning what was that scientist thinking before he named something ascaris lumbricoides right when he named something orientia shushugamushi what was the scientist thinking once you get introduced to those stories it becomes very very easy to remember the topics the subjects the news so if you want to hop on to this journey with me i am more than excited to be with you i am i promise i'm going to make the journey very interesting and very very amazing for you and you will stop thinking that microbiology is dry and fact heavy and this and that of course a lot of your seniors say that but probably they haven't met the right teacher yet right so welcome on to this journey and whatever you may choose one advice always stay in the game See you guys. Soon.